Hi everyone, welcome to Chalchitra Talks. I'm Vani. And this week I want to talk to you about a book that was inspired by George Orwell's Why I Write. George Orwell ne ek essay likha tha Why I Write, jisme unhone apne reasons diye the for writing. Uh, he divided them into four main categories: political purpose, historical impulse, unka sheer egoism and aesthetic enthusiasm. He did so because he felt that if you want to understand a writer and his motives you must study his early development and there is a book things i don't want to know by deborah levy which is even today marketed as a feminist reply to orwell's why i write but that is not why i am recommending this book to you this is one of the few books that i bought after reading the first two lines the very first two lines um Deborah Levy has written that spring when life was very hard and I was at war with my lot and simply couldn't see where there was to get to I seemed to cry most on escalators at train stations going down them was fine but there was something about standing still and being carried upwards that did it when i read it i thought what she meant by war with my lot was war with my emotions and my thoughts but apparently what she meant by war with my lot was that she feel disconnected from her gender from being a woman and uh, there was something about standing still and being carried upwards that made her cry i feel is symbolic of her sense of direction she had lost it and she was standing still and she was being carried around by the weight of society and as you read this book you come across such imageries and they make you understand why someone writes and why someone goes on writing in the face of adversity as deborah levy is struggling to balance womanhood motherhood and her writing career she identifies some of the key happenings or some of the real life experiences that shaped her novels that shaped her writing and it included her family's emigration from south africa when apartheid was at its peak and her father was a political prisoner she talks about melissa who was a teenage girl and she was the first one to tell her to speak up and this was her historical impulse then when her family moved to london she realized that writing made her feel wiser than she actually was and this was her sheer egoism this motivated her to write Deborah Levy also talks about her interview with a Polish theater director Zofia Kalinska and Zofia Kalinska like Melissa tells her that a young actress must speak up and she says to speak up is not about speaking louder it is about feeling entitled to voice a wish we always hesitate when we wish for something in my theater i like to show the hesitation and not to conceal it a hesitation is not the same as a pause it is an attempt to defeat the wish and to this um deborah levy later adds and beautifully so and she says the story of hesitation is the whole point of writing if you've read her other works swimming home and hot milk which are some beautiful books you will realize where the characters are deeply rooted they are rooted in this idea and um when i was growing up i was surrounded by some brilliant people most of whom however happened to be loud and therefore my idea of brilliance was somebody who is not only good at what they do but is also loud and therefore i spent a lot of my time in being loud while growing up and now i realize that idea was really false but there's this um line in this book where deborah levy writes um she's talking to a chinese shopkeeper and she tells him that in order to write and write well she had to learn to interrupt to speak up to speak a little louder and then louder and then to just speak in my own voice which is not loud at all and this is when i realized how strong this book is and that's not because i could relate to this line but because this connected the entire book to the first two lines where she says that standing still and being carried made her cry and this was so because she allowed the society to steer her in whatever direction it wanted because she still had not found her voice all along the book uh, the message is very clear 
what makes somebody right and why they keep on doing it no matter what happens. But you must not only pick it up because it is a feminist reply. There is so much that is to this book. And one of them is her concept of learning to speak in her own voice. I hope you liked this week's recommendation and I will be back again with another recommendation next week.